Hello everyone, so today I was looking at this uh, endpoint. It is uh, an experimental endpoint, I believe, for uh, fetching the license information of your Jira uh, instance, I believe, and uh, and I was actually uh, able to run it very quickly. So you, ju you just need to go to the browser and uh, type in here REST API 3 slash instance slash license, and it will tell you that uh, whether this is a free instance or maybe if you're using maybe a paid version. So I think it can be useful in case you are responsible for maintaining maybe multiple Jira instances and uh, <clears throat> and maybe you want to know if uh, these Jira instances are uh, free or pay paid or maybe you know whatever plan they are on by simply running uh, a query. I think we can also write uh, some kind of a shell script. So I, I was thinking of writing it. So I thought I thought we'll probably do it together. So what I'll do, I'll, so in this particular case, we are just uh, getting something. So I believe I can copy one of my script. So let, let me first uh, <coughs> copy the script. I'll, I'll go to the folder. I think uh, my folder name is uh, this one, Jira shell scripts. And maybe I will copy, what about uh, get field? Yeah, I think this is fine. So I'll copy this file. Get field and uh, what is the name what shall we use for the name get license okay get license is a nice name get license dot sh and I think uh, this should be useful maybe you know um, maybe we can run it in a loop for multiple Jira instances there are a lot of possibilities so I'll just uh, make sure I use the right endpoint which is REST API 3 uh, instance and uh, license and uh, I'll probably make the script uh, read uh, not read only but executable chmod a plus x projects jira shell script get license Okay, let us run this. So we can go to this directory. I'll probably uh, make sure that these scripts are somewhere in the path. So I don't have to go to the directory. Usually I keep all my shell scripts uh, in, my, in my path. So I can run them from anywhere I want. Which I'm not really sure if it is a good idea for Jira shell script. So let us run this. So it, it is great. Maybe we can pass it to JQ just to display it nicely it looks good uh, looks definitely uh, interesting and uh, the good thing about jq is that we can also do some further further uh, parsing of it so maybe we can do something like this i guess let us try uh, or maybe not okay I'll, I'll i'll probably figure out this later so uh this is, this is a simple shell script. I'll probably commit it to my uh, repository and you can also copy it. But because this is an experimental uh, rest endpoint, so you cannot really be sure that uh, Atlassian will keep it. Maybe they will get rid of it. But I think it, if, if it is there in the documentation, so I think uh, they might make it uh, normal, normal endpoint. So that is all I thought I'll probably do today. And I think this can be useful. I mean, on server version, we have this system info and there is also this REST endpoint for getting some information about uh, your uh, Jira instance. Uh, and I think this uh, license endpoint can also be useful. It can also you know, display some additional information about the uh, plan that maybe you can use or maybe you can tell your finance team, okay, this particular, uh, maybe, the, maybe, maybe you're responsible to generate a report where you have to tell your finance team or pro pro procurement team, I don't know, which to whatever team or budget or team who is responsible for budget that you have 10 Jira instances and this is their current plan. So I thought I'll probably talk about this today. So that is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Bye bye.